Talking about Bharti, it was a mixed set of results from them. In fact, there was a miss on the revenue front. The margins expanded and the subscriber numbers also saw growth. Balaji Subramanian, who is the vice president at IFL Securities, who has been tracking Bharti for so long, joins us now on the Q4 performance. Balaji, good morning. Uh, the problem really is that growth has slowed down in a big way, especially in the India mobile business. I mean, it was barely a 1% revenue growth and ARPUs did not grow at all. How would you read into that? Do you think it could affect the performance of the stock going forward? And uh, what are your targets now? Uh, good morning. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, so firstly, when you look at the 1% number that they have reported, it's a QOQ number. Let us not forget that uh, 4Q uh, is a relatively short quarter to, with two fewer days compared to 3Q. So two fewer days itself uh, typically shaves off something like 2% uh, from the QOQ number. So if you uh, adjust for that, then the underlying uh, revenue growth is uh, fairly decent at a little over uh, 3%. And the ARPU also, rather than looking flattish, it would have grown by about uh, 2%. So I wouldn't say that the numbers are uh, 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 are muted. They are uh, fairly resilient. And uh, there are also some other things to look at, like uh, how Bharti has uh, seen uh, pretty robust uh, postpaid subscriber additions. They have also done fairly well on the 4G subscriber additions. So net-net, I would say this uh, quarter has been fairly good. And uh, despite uh, the accelerated uh, uh, 5G rollouts and rural 4G rollouts, what we are also seeing is that their network operating costs uh, have been uh, fairly controlled while uh, the uh, uh, sales and distribution expenses have come off. So even though, you know, uh, the revenue growth has been uh, kind of uh, steady, Bharti seems to have done a good uh, job in terms of cost control. And net-net, I would say it's a, a fairly good quarter. Uh, that said, uh, as far as... Uh, uh, the key uh, things to watch out for would be, I think, one thing, the one, one the most important thing would be on the 4G prepaid tariff hikes. So even though Bharti seems to have done a good job in terms of uh, getting its user base to absorb the entry-level uh, prepaid tariff plans, I think 4G prepaid tariff hikes are uh, probably some time away uh, because the market continues to remain uh, competitive and uh, both uh, Jio and Bharti would also... Uh, be keen sure. on uh, uh, having some market share gains uh, at the expense of Voda idea. So I think uh, the tariff uh, hikes are probably uh, some time away. And uh, going forward this year, it will be more of a, uh, a steady growth in terms of uh, ARPU improvement and revenue growth is concerned. Okay, so you're saying that the, uh, the earnings are resilient given the situation on hand and they're expecting a steady growth going forward. Take that. But what explains the uh, non-performance of the stock then? I mean, this year, Bharti has done nothing. If you look at the last six months as well, uh, the stock has actually fallen from those 850 levels. Is there any trigger for the stock to get back there? See, I think uh, the stock fell uh, mostly because of the uh, assumption of uh, deferment of tariff hikes. Uh, I think uh, the street was expecting uh, tariff hikes to happen sometime in late uh, 2022 or early 2023. Uh, since uh, that didn't play out, uh, of course, we are looking at uh, uh, the uh, market repair uh, story getting pushed out by a year or so. Uh, I think that is the single biggest reason why the stock has been uh, uh, under a little bit of pressure this year. And let us also not forget that uh, uh, the industry has uh, been fairly competitive, uh, like how Geo introduced uh, attractive postpaid plans sometime in March, and they followed that up with, uh, again, attractively priced uh, 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 FTTH plans. Uh, so net-net, I think uh, uh, the industry uh, dynamics continue to be fairly competitive, and uh, the ARPU repairs to is getting uh, pushed out a little bit. On the other hand, uh, uh, both uh, Bharti and Jio are rolling out uh, uh, 5G and that means that uh, there will be higher capex and uh, uh, with the monetization of all these investments uh, getting delayed a little bit, I think uh, uh, that is the most important reason why the uh, stock has uh, fallen from where it used to be about six months back. Okay, uh, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us uh, and running us through what you make of the numbers. Quick check as we head into market opening in about, what, seven minutes or so.